All right, so a user by the name of Lifted Company asked me, how do you reach human adulthood? And I've been thinking about that question for a long time. Uh, and, and the question that was asked just put it front and center that perhaps I'm not really addressing that question. You see, I would say my channel, which has only so many movies, I realize, a lot of the movies that I make I don't actually publish, but I would say that the movies and the content that I try to create have solely to do with reaching human adulthood or trying to explain what human adulthood is or trying to figure out how the world works most objectively seen. Is that good English? What I'm trying to say is that what I'm trying to do in my content is to look at things and to show you how I, how I look at things so you get a, an idea of what it could mean to go to work on yourself and to try to develop yourself into a more fully aware and somewhat of an adult when it comes to being and conscious being. Now, the first thing I want to address when I talk about, really talk about human adulthood is that it doesn't really exist, uh, right? You know this, it's just like with enlightenment or with other concepts of being, states of being, you know, it's just an idea. It's just a concept that on the one hand you could say we haven't really defined that well so we could, we could look at that and see, okay, well, what is human adulthood? And I think for the sake of this movie, it would be nice to say what I think is human adulthood is, because if I'm going to talk about it going forward, it would be nice for you to have an idea of what I exactly mean. But apart from the fact that we haven't defined define it well, it's also something that doesn't really exist, right? You could describe human adulthood or enlightenment or all these states in all kinds of words that you would like. But then there's no official way to measure if someone is or isn't up to that standard, right? It's not like we do with adulthood in the regular world that you pass a certain age and then you're an adult. And the same way with being a human adult, me, it's not just you got to test, you know, pass a test. And then once you pass the test, you're a human adult. Um, so it's a vague thing. And it's not for me to decide whether or not you are a human adult. It's not for you to decide whether or not I feel I'm a human adult. And I don't think it's even important to claim human adulthood or to be able to tell other people that they are or aren't human adults. I think a big part of human adulthood, if you ask me, is taking responsibility for yourself and focusing on yourself. And I think that is where the, the value is of this whole thing, is that human adulthood is about developing oneself and trying to get a control of oneself and that's where the prize is it isn't to go around and telling people i'm a human adult and you're not so another side to that coin as well is that personally i found that every day is the challenge of being a human adult so maybe last week i was a human adult every day and then this week something happens and i'm not saying i'm not an adult because i think the context and the and the and the structure that's within me now is solid enough and consistent enough to always keep me in the right going in the right direction and even if i momentarily lose my patience or or whatever uh, i have the tools and the structure to bring me back to what it is that i want to do but you know it's not some state you enter into and then you're done and i think you know from what i've tried to figure out about enlightenment it's kind of the same thing first of all enlightenment, who is enlightened, who isn't, it's not very easy to tell. If you look at those states of being, what we do is we listen to people talk and then we decide to our standards if that's what an enlightened being should talk like, right? Well, he's saying the right things. I'm pretty sure he's enlightened. Well, I, I truly believe him because he's, he's, well, I don't believe him because he said that one thing that just made no sense whatsoever, right? That's how we do. We don't, we, we're very concerned with the claims of others. So if you claim to be enlightened, then I go scrutinize what you do and what you say, and then I can say, well, he's not enlightened at all, or the other way around. I, I figured, you know, I, I tested him, I, I, I asked him all kinds of questions. This guy's got to be enlightened. And the same thing with human consciousness, uh, human adulthood, right? It's not a real thing. Let, let's get that clear. As a clear thing that we can discuss and have between each other and like claim or disclaim. Now, I think it's a real thing for you to strive for, and I think it's something you can actually achieve as well. I think it is indeed the true prize. But that being said, you know, I just want to make clear that whatever people tell you, 
this whole thing isn't official. And it's with most concepts, especially those concerning, you know, us, right? Our human conscious state or states of being, we can speculate what the experience of others is like, but we can never know for sure. And you could wonder what the worth is of, you know, verifying or claiming or all these things when it comes to being, right? Just be. If you're happy with what you're doing and how you're being, then go on and do that. If you're not, then go to work. What label you put on it is really not that adding that much value, I would say, you know? There's there's situations where you could say, well, it's, you know, it's easier to talk about it if you do label or it's easy to recognize people that are in the same state that you are, sure, whatever. If that's something that you think will help, fine. But when it comes to this process, this process of reaching human adulthood, it's a process you do mostly by yourself and labeling things isn't going to help you that much. I would say paying attention to your feelings, your thoughts, the lack of thoughts, the ideas that you have, the, you know, the type of talk that goes on within your head. These are very useful to discover where you are. All right, so that's the first disclaimer. It doesn't really exist as a thing and it's up to you to decide what exactly it is and it's up to you to decide whether or not you're it or if you're going there. And, you know, as a, a little extra tip, I would say being fast to claim, some, claim something isn't helpful. If you think you are somewhere, then you stop walking, right? If you've arrived, you're done. If you think you haven't arrived, you keep going. Now, I think the point is to keep going. I don't think it's the, the point is to arrive because that's kind of boring. Then, then what, right? But whatever. That was just the first thing. Let's look at human adulthood now being, what do I call human adulthood, right? And it's, it's, it's I have to be honest, I, I tried to figure it out for this uh, particular video, exactly what is it that I find to be a human adult, all right? Or how do I define human adulthood? Um, so, you know, I, I've come up with something, it may or may not be completely accurate, I might change the way I think about it, but for what it's worth, to me, right now, human adulthood is about knowing and accepting what you are and then realizing who you are. All right, so let's take a look at what I'm saying here. See, the first part is that I'm saying is that you know and come to terms with what you are. Now, I think I've talked about that in a video that I've published before is that a lot of people are looking for who they are, right? I want to be the real me or I want to discover my, my real self or true self or whatever they call it. I think the essence of what's going on in this world and in this life is that you first has to have to realize and accept what it is that you are. And what it is that you are is you are a medium for experience, right? The experience is the message, you are the medium. You are a human consciousness and a consciousness has certain aspects to it, certain elements, right? We, we, I talked about that before in in the, the solitude of self-actualization, that I would say that solitude, death, these are starting points of your experience, right? So I, I think that they are inherent parts of what make you, makes you what you are, a human consciousness, right? You are separate from other consciousness. You are going to die. Um, you know, there are other things that we can look at, but these are elements of what makes you a human consciousness. These are the same for everyone. Whether or not they agree with that is something else, but they have the same challenges that you have. And I think, you know, I, I tend to look at life and, and, and the things that we're going through a lot as it is, as if it were a game with different levels and different things that we can develop and look at and, and, and visit and etc. And I would say that the game has a few things that make it work, right? They have a few things that make it interesting. And one of the things that is interesting is that there's a lot of other people, but you can only look inside your own head. That's very interesting because you have all these thoughts and these emotions, and then other people have them too, probably, and they talk about it, and you talk about it, and you got to discover whether or not they're talking about the same thing, and it's helpful, and it's not helpful, and it's, it's really interesting. It really keeps things going, keeps things going, right? Drama gets created because we have to learn how to talk to each other. And because I'm coming from my perspective and you have a totally different perspective and we don't understand that we have perspectives and we don't understand what we are saying and we think we're looking at the same thing, but we're looking at, right? This is a dynamic. 
And a dynamic is interesting. A dynamic makes things move and life is movement. So that's very cool. So I think part of being a human consciousness means there are certain aspects to what you are that keep the game going, that, 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 that make this whole thing an interesting thing. And in order to be an adult about it, to me, is to come to terms with that, to accept those limits, to accept those starting points, right? You can deny that you're going to die and you can, you can, you know, not think about it or, or pretend it's not going to happen or you're going to do all these things that, to me, are a childish way of dealing with it, right? The adult way of dealing with these things is to accept them and say, okay, you know, I might not like it all the time, but it is what it is, right? Because we all, we can all agree on these things. We can all see and experience and, and look around and see that, in fact, we are alone, even though we might be with other people inside our own head, inside our own world, we are alone. And people are dying every day. So it's very likely that you and I will die as well. Now, that's not maybe the most awesome thought that ever came to mind when it comes to, to that experience. But if you're an adult and if you try to work on seeing things the way they are, then you will also probably notice that death is the, actually the only thing that makes this whole thing worth living, right? Death creates life. It gives the context of meaning to this whole thing. So it's pretty handy that we have death. So that is what I mean when I talk about coming to terms with what you are. And it's also something you have to, you have to know what you are, you have to come to terms with your, what you are. So you have to discover it which could be done through reading or, or through paying attention or through all these ways that life has, has to offer. That's the one thing, the knowledge of I'm going to die. The other thing is coming to terms with it or accepting it, right? In integrating it into your being as a living reality, right? Knowing you're going to die is one thing, but actually making decisions while aware that you're going to die, that's another. So quitting something, perhaps your job or a relationship, that might seem safe and that other people tell you it might be stupid to quit, could be a very well done adult choice. Because you thought about it and you've taken into your consideration all these truths that people deny or don't think about. And then you come to a choice where you say, okay, this might not be the easy way to go, but it's the best way to go for me. Because I thought it through and I know what I want to do. So knowing and accepting what you are is a big part of becoming a human adult. Now that's easier said than done. So I will have to look at that a lot more often in a lot more detail. And I will. The second part of this thing is that then you can realize who you are. Now I've chosen the word realize uh, intentionally. You see, I was thinking about to know who you are or to find out who you are or to create who you are. And these are all aspects of what's going on, I would say. But it's not as nice as the word to realize because, and I think to realize is as, as more meaning personally than maybe to you, right? So let me look at that for a little bit. But to realize to me is, first of all, to realize is to make real, right? So it doesn't say anything about finding it out or or trying to discover it, right? It just says to realize who you are, is to make real who you are. But to realize in thought is also, right? You, you just realize something, it just popped into your head, which could be coming from this subconscious knowing, or maybe it just popped as a creative thought, right? So that's very nice in this tendency, I would say. It combines the dualistic nature of what you are very nicely, because what you are is both conscious and unconscious. What you are is both self-created, for as much as you can do that, and other-created, right? There's this co-creative situation going on, going on where it's not very clear where you stop and it starts, or, or, or you know? Consciousness is very crazy. <laughs> it's something from nothing, right? And I think that's part of being a human adult, too, is that you realize that you are creating something from nothing when you're doing this. And it goes both to the who, right? Who am I, who, who do I want to be? How do I want to be? That's all creating patterns when there aren't or changing patterns that are. But also if you look at consciousness, right? I don't, I'm not sure if consciousness is infinitely expanding. It feels like it, but then I realize that I don't know what I forget, right? If you don't have something in your awareness anymore, then it's 
something you don't see. But I do think that there's a huge element of expansion going on when it comes to consciousness. And being able to influence that and steer that, to, to accept fully your self-teaching ability, right? You're an autodidact, just like every other consciousness. That is a big part of becoming a human adult. So it becomes... If you know how you work, right? If you know what tools are available to you, if you know that you are a consciousness, that it can only teach itself, right? It can, it can only... You can never be taught anything other than what you teach yourself, which can be inspired by people on the outside. Um, if, you, if you take the, the idea of self-reliance, where you know that you have to come to a point where you, as a human being, are solely responsible for what you go through, at least emotionally and in your head, but also you have to be able to stand on your own feet. It's nice to enjoy other people, but you don't necessarily need other people. Right? You, you come to a place where you feel thankful to, for this whole thing that's going on because you didn't set it up. At least you don't remember if you did. And now you're here and instead of being afraid of it, you're, you're accepting this thing. You're accepting, okay, wait, wait a minute. I got this as a present, right? I'm, I'm here. Somehow I'm here. I don't know how I got here. I don't know where I will go when I leave. I don't even know how I will leave. But I'm here now and I'm trusting that. So these are all elements of what it means to be a human adult. Now, how do you reach human adulthood? I mean, that's a million dollar question. That's a very good question to ask. And I think I'm going to try and answer that in the coming months, if not years, because I don't know exactly how to do that yet. I mean, you have to understand that most importantly, a disconnected media like we're using here is probably the most difficult media to use when it comes to helping someone move forward, right? Because how to reach human adulthood has a lot to do with where you are. Are you a child? Which seems not as good as a human adult, but it's, you know, it's a natural part of your progression. It's better than being a psychotic child that thinks himself to be an adult, if you know what I mean, right? So if you are in a place where you are thinking you're an adult and you're not, then that's a whole lot of, that's a whole different question to take you to real adulthood than if we go from... Anyway, so if you are currently an, a child who thinks himself to be an adult, that's a very more challenging question than if you are truly a child that wants to grow up. Now, just because you asked the question, that leads me to think that you have the openness to realize that perhaps you're not an adult and you're open to, 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 to information and to learn how you could become an adult. But then it's still has, you know, then there's still a lot, a lot of questions of where are you now in order to give you the best advice if, when it comes to moving forward to being a human adult. So I got to think about that. I got to think about what steps are there in order to reach human adulthood. I would say that the first step is the same as it is for AA, Alcoholic Anon Anonymous, right? I think the first step is to recognize you have a problem. And I think when it comes to reaching human adulthood, it's the first step as well. Realize you're not a human adult yet. Realize that there's so much for you to learn and to d discover that regular society isn't doing. Regular education isn't addressing. We, you live in a society that's confused. You live in a society that has an education system that does not do what it's supposed to do. That's not helping us be fully what we are and then gives, give us the opportunity to create who we are, right? Because once I know the tools and I know how I work, then I can decide, okay, well, what am I going to do, right? The reason I called my channel Creative Context is because if you really look at what you are, you come to realize that meaning and context are all relative. They're all created. They're all made up. And so there's no true context other than just being a medium, being a consciousness. But there's no meaning to it all. There's no bigger thing unless you choose this bigger thing, or you join this bigger thing, or you create this bigger thing, right? Nothing is valuable unless you infuse it with value. And that goes for context as well. The only context that we can have, and that we, we need context, and I will go into that as well uh, in another movie, but the only context we can really have is the one we create for ourselves. And I think that's part of being a human adult, is not looking around for bigger context that you can 
be a part of, right? Tell me what the context of this whole thing is. But you realize, as you look at what you are, that there is no true context. All the context is just what other people tell you, which is not true. It's just what they tell you. So it comes to being your own adult, being your own consciousness, creating your own context. These are all aspects of what it means to be a human adult. But how to get there from an unknown place, that's difficult for me to explain right now. So that's what I will spend the coming movies on and months. And I will try to figure out how to kind of make this into a sensible thing where I can give you some pointers and maybe we can talk about more specific elements that make up human adulthood and where you are now and etc etc right so hopefully this helped you in any way if not let me know if it has helped you let me know as well again I would say that the best way to start becoming a human adult is to realize you're not it and being open to learning how to be it and I'm not talking about just learning from me I'm talking about learning from yourself because once you open up to the fact that you're not something I'm pretty certain that your consciousness, your the universe, whatever you want to call it, is going to provide you with hints and, 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 and ideas that might help you becoming that which you want to be. As for me personally, I can tell you that it took a long time to, to get where I am now. And again, I'm not claiming human adulthood like out of the box saying I'm a human adult now and you should be like me. No. What I know is the trip that I've made. And one thing I realized is that I've changed a lot. I... I, I think I, I've, I've lived at least three or four lives already with totally different perspectives and totally ways, different ways of being, right? And, and it was when I was young, it was something that happened to me where I was the victim, so to say. And as I've gotten older, I've, I've became more in control of this thing, or at least I have the illusion to be more in control, which is the same thing. Um, so I think that is what you have to realize, that in this whole thing, it's all relative to yourself. So it's not about being something that we can say, well, we're both there and he's not there, right? Although I, I would say the human adult is something you can share, but that's for later concern. For now, be open to the fact that you're probably not it and start paying attention to what you think it could be. And, and, and you know, I think that will help you out a lot and I will get back to this subject as soon as possible. So I thank you for your question. Uh, thank you for clarifying for me that I should be more focusing on this subject because I thought I was but I don't know if I'm making it clear and now I have this thing where I can say okay I I'm gonna address this question and I'm gonna hopefully answer it so that's it for this one see ya